Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at PianistMiri. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Fashionably Miri. Today I'm going to show you my Sephora haul. Recently I went to Sephora to get one item and I came up with a few. What's the deal there? Okay, um, yeah. Anyways, I had a small Sephora haul and I want to share my items with you, so let's get started. I originally went to Sephora to get this Urban Decay's The Sleek Makeup Setting Spray. I used to use All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm almost out of it. And I find that after performing for 4 hours at YBR, I often get really oily. So I was really afraid if I can touch up and often I play for 4 hours straight I don't have chance to go to washroom so I was like oh my gosh I need to get this Urban Decay's this sleep setting spray and oh my goodness I don't know how I could live without this item for so long uh, Recently my skin has changed um, Last year I had dry skin problem this year I have completely oily skin problem. I am actually liking that it's better oily than dry, but it's sometimes too oily and I sometimes don't have time to touch up. That's the thing. And I don't like bringing a lot of items in my bag. And next two items I got are these two. I got Blender Cleanser Solid and beauty blender okay i heard about this a lot and my friend joanna talked about this and she swears by this product but to me this is like really overpriced okay it's very expensive it's like 20 bucks a piece i think 26 maybe in canada but it's really expensive so i was skeptical about this whole idea of using beauty blender but I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people swear by this item and I know why after using this okay I just washed this so it's kind of big and squishy and kind of wet so I put it like this and I let it dry I tend to wash it every use so I put on my makeup every morning and I just wash it right away so I don't forget about it and by the time I wear makeup the next day it's all dry but once it's dry it will actually fit into this container perfectly but when it's wet it becomes like so big and I wanted to go for the black color because I just worry that my foundations or concealers will stain the beauty blenders I don't know the pink one looks really nice but I just wanted it to stay nice and brand new looking so yeah anyways I often use this like round part and then I just let it sit like this and I discovered this as well I bought this at the same time because I wasn't sure how to wash this sponge um, technically it's very expensive sponge I don't know what it's made of but it's amazing. I love it. I'm actually wearing the one that I got from Sephora recently and I'm loving it a lot. And that is Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Captivating. Okay, I've been really into this coral color blush. I find that this is really pigmented so I have to be very careful. The other day I was at a wedding and I was just looking at the mirror during the ceremony and I was shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, I have too much blush on. So thankfully my pictures looked okay, but yeah, I have to be careful with this item. Um, something a dupe for this is that Milani's uh, Luminoso. I actually you know, I actually pray for Luminoso because I think it gives better color on my skin But I was really really curious about this product because 
so many people were talking about it. Last but not least, I had to get on with the bandwagon. I know it's been up for a really long time. A lot of people talked about this still as kitten and I was really curious about this color. I'm always in the hunt for the best champagne color uh, to put on my inner corner as well as bottom um, eyelash area to brighten my eyes. And guess what? This is like the bomb. Okay, so I was so happy to find this. It's so pretty and it's really pigmented and it's really 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 pigmented it's not even funny it's like so amazing and I compare this with the Mary Luminizer and also Max soft and gentle and this by far the shiniest so I'm like okay this is like my all-time favorite okay everything else um, I don't know what to do with my every other champagne color but I am I am so in love with this okay so if you shop at Sephora they often give you samples and this time they gave me three samples I'm surprised the very first one is Clinique Redney Solutions Daily Protection Base SPF 15 so I don't know maybe they thought I have too much redness on my face I I don't actually but I'm excited to use this sample because I've never used anything from Clinique before and it's kind of like this so it basically toned down your redness although I don't have much redness I guess I could use this instead of concealer I don't know I'll try and I also got Glen Glow mask uh, this one's Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment and this was Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment so I heard so much about them and I'm excited to use them and I've been using this mud mask from Biore and I actually like it a lot so I have high hopes for this if any of you have used this before please let me know down below Sometimes I'm very skeptical about using new products because my skin is so sensitive and I think my skin is back to where I want it to be. I just don't want to mess it up sometimes. Like I'm like, oh my skin is so great, I can now use new products and, and then bam, the next day I get like acne all over. I generally love discovering new products and put them on the test but I also have to be very careful because my skin is so sensitive and yeah so anyways if you have any recommendations from Sephora please let me know down below because I would love to try them open to any suggestions okay please um, tweet me I tweet daily and also I tweet back and also I post daily pictures on my Instagram and all the other updates on my Facebook including music, fashion, everything uh, on my Facebook they're all under Pianist Mary and please subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and thank you so much for tuning into Fashionably Mary and I'll see you very soon in my next videos Bye for now!